If you want your players to have fun and enjoy the game, they'll enjoy it much more when they have the confidence to do the fundamentals. You may think passing and catching is a simple concept. It doesn't matter the level. A player must be able to pass and catch the ball. Unfortunately, we don't spend enough time working on catching the ball. I was working with a group of coaches in a clinic, and we had a few coaches come on the floor for demonstration. As we were going over how to pass and catch, one of the coaches' first reactions on the catch was to take a step back. I realized we had to explain catching the ball and where to place the hands. When we work on catching the ball, here are your teaching points. Number one, show your teammate a hand target. Number two, get your hands up with the fingertips to the ceiling and see the back of your hands. Number three, catch with the fingertips first, not with the body and not with the arms. For passing the ball, we use these teaching points. Step toward their teammate every time they pass. I get more strength in my pass by stepping to my teammate. Younger players need to emphasize this even more since they're not as strong. The second thing is to aim your pass. Look for the hand target of your teammate and make sure they have their eyes on the passer. The third one is make sure every pass has speed and does not die out before it gets to the teammate. Passing and catching the ball is such a vital part of the game. It takes constant reinforcement for players to learn the skills.